Good morning, dogs. It's Tuesday. Trunk or treat, Halloween costume, competition, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clint House Trunk or Treat will be October 30th at the Clint House. There will be multiple trunks with free candy and you can get a free hay ride. There will be a Halloween costume competition on October 31st. Registration will be in the Commons or Community. Email a photo if you're off campus in the morning. Now to sports and weather. Good morning, dogs. This morning felt really good, so I'm in a really good mood. So. I'll let Garrick tell you about that. Anyways, let's get on with sports. The Frankfurt High School competition cheer team competed in the Indiana Cheer Championship timeout division for large schools last week. The timeout division consists of one minute and 15 second crowd involvement cheer using lots of visual props, signs, flags, and the mascot. The teams are graded based on their communication, routine, design, visual, showmanship, and overall impression. That This was the first team uh, first competition since 2020, the team only had a one returning member from the 2020 competition season. So this was the first time virtually the whole team has competed in the ICC. The team did not make the finals in an extremely tough division, but the coaches were really proud of their efforts, finishing ahead of Floyd Central, Chesterton, Avon, Elkhart, and Goshen High Schools. Only six points separated them from advancing to the finals. Congratulations to the FHS comp competition cheer team. The FHS Bowling Club had just started their season this past Sunday with the team traveling to Seville to face Seville. <laughs> Unfortunately, came home with the loss. As of now, the team only has four bowlers and is desperate looking for one before the November 1st deadline. With some notable scores from last match was Noah Lashbork with four, 140, Lily Cooper with 145, Corbin Lake with 165, and last but not least, Maggie Roberts with 136. But the next match will be uh, will be Sunday at LBC Lanes in Lebanon at 1.30. That wraps up for sports today. Now for our weatherman, Garrick. Thank you very much, Anthony. Walking into school today, it was a breezy 50 degrees, which is way higher compared to yesterday's temperatures around this time. But things are looking good for later today because the high is going to be around 75 degrees, peaking at 4 o'clock with some partly cloudy skies and winds ranging from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Also for the low of the day, we're looking to drop back down into the low 60s, which will begin to plateau at around 63 degrees and at around 9 p.m. Thank you for tuning in to today's weather report. Now I'll send it back to your amazing host, Mr. Ed Smith. Oh, time to celebrate some fantastic hot dog students and staff. For this week's hot dog of the week, will be freshman Ariana Galepsi, sophomore Xander Ford, junior Ashley Zhang, senior Nadia Litter, Little, and staff member Mrs. Light. Congrats, hot dogs. For your hot dog lunch today, we'll be having pizza sticks and a side of marinara sauce in lines one and two, buffalo chicken dip in line three, and a taco snack in line four. Happy, happy, happy birthday goes out to Chloe Kingma, Savannah Long, Natasha Mason, Jesus Mejia Cervantes, Miguel Santos Valdez, and Hunter Wessel. That's it for the announcements. We here in the studio wish everyone a terrific Tuesday and we'll see you tomorrow bright and early for your daily announcements.